Okay, so he's fine walking out here. I like to walk out because I have to open a gate. And then I'm going to get on on this little ledge. Oh, feet are a little big to fit here, huh? And we could blow up some, so I'm in the curve. Three. Oh, so good getting on. Stay here. Sure, you can just walk off with them. Okay, so we're gonna go up here and turn around. It's very rocky here. Of course, he's barefoot. Well, so he might end up needing shoes. I'll have an idea today. So not the best turn on the forehand, right? That's why it's important that they do that well. In case you got to turn around. Okay. So he veered a little bit towards home, but he's never been here. for all long. And everybody who's been here in the beginning looks a lot at these first two houses and then they mellow out after that because they just don't know what's coming up or what to expect. And the trails he were he was on aren't as um, narrow. They're wide and open so they can see a lot more kind of like Homestead or Cronin trails. So he's full of some trails. Some of the horses don't like them because they can't see what's coming up. They can hear things but they don't know what they are. But then they get used to it. Okay. Good going downhill so far. <clears throat> So they're riding them in a hackamore, so that makes sense about the bit, but I did change bits. I put a wonder bit in his mouth today, and so so far he seems better with it. But this one doesn't put as much down pressure on his uh, tongue. And then his mouth is very quiet this morning. So this is a bigger downhill with rocks sticking up. Half halting. And not a lot, just every couple steps or so, so he stays on the back end. I think the guy that was riding him didn't really um, collect him and just let him, you know, just wobble down the trail. So he could be a lot better at this. Although he's doing fine. I'm a perfectionist, as most of you know. <laughs> We're all very well. He took his time. He paid attention. So I think it will be even better once he uh, half halts and gets on his back end a little bit more. I can feel he's got some good power behind him on the back end to get you up hills. So there's cows ahead, we just can't see them. So a lot of them get here and get a little goofy because they hear animals or smell them. Um, but then they don't see anything. And then you got this water crossing with the bush that usually has birds in it. And a lot of them have an issue the first time we go through this water. Oh boy, so this isn't new. So not so good going through the water. He keeps going over there even though it's wet. And so I don't water and he leaped over this the first time. Now he's walking in it. So I'm just gonna do it over and over again until he does it right. Oh, 
Come on. Yeah, I got a foot in the water. Okay, he's definitely nervous. So it's much better, but it's been a while. And he's sneaky. He tries to sneak out if he can. So we're just trying to show him, hey, this is the easier route. Whoa. Come on. I want him to go right through the middle. Just once I get on. If it's not, if I didn't do this good enough, he's going to lean over it. That's what he did the first time. There's no leaping in trail riding unless we need you to leap. Oh boy! So that was the best one so far. So this is for the people who are watching training. If this is a horse I'm testing for somebody. Um, hey, if you don't take your time and get them to do this right, you know, get off. Your friends are going to have to wait. Or you just come back another time. If you don't do this, hey, they're going to be leaping forever. Okay? You got to do it right. Get them to walk through it. Don't accept them leaping through it. Because otherwise, they're going to leap every little thing. So every time they do it wrong, see how he's trying to take a shortcut over there? And go through the stuff that's more dangerous. Good boy. So do it right. Get it done. Keep working on it till it's really good. I'm not going to be able to go as far as I was on my trail ride because I had to stop and do this and it's hot today. Now he wants to stand in the water. But if you don't, it's going to be a pain. And I've had lots of water horses that came and weren't good with water. You know, and people say, oh, they're fine with water. It's just they don't know. Because they've probably never taken them through it. And they just think since the horse acts fine, he's fine. So take your time, do it right, and guess what? I'm going to be taking him through lots of water. But this is much better than it was like 10 minutes ago. It's not easy, okay? Even me, who's done this a whole bunch of times, he was trying to, you know, get in my space. So I still don't think it's good enough. I'm going to probably do it five, ten more minutes before I get on and try it. I got another crossing after this, but it's not much water. But then there's also the lake that we'll see if we have time to try. Um, but they have to know the sending exercise in order to do this. So you got to be able to send them back and forth. Otherwise, you're jumping over the water yourself and it becomes difficult. He's getting mud all over. That's okay. <laughs> disgusting okay so let's see how we did it's different when you're on their back easy easy good job buddy he's like yeah let's get the hell out of here so okay. the first time he just leaped over it oh, big difference okay okay so here we have to go through the bushes so we'll see how he uh, steers through here Sure he's not used to doing this. Good boy. We're pretty good. We have a pipe to go over. Okay. He didn't care about that. So this was another spot. There's water, but um, it's all dried up now. So it's just grass and rocks. But still, we'll see what he does. It's a stump to go over. Houses, so it's a little weird. I'm not pushing him or anything yet. I'm letting him actually like look. Okay, you want to go now? Good job. So he did a good job through that. He could have jumped it, you know, instead of going through the rocks, but he didn't. He did good. So I'm going to look and see how muddy it is here to see if we can. Try to see if he'll go in or not. There's little waves, so sometimes they don't like that. That's how mucky it is, huh? Well, it's kind of rocky, so it's a good spot. Good boy. I think there's 
drinking a little. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, we sunk a little. This is fine. Where it's more rocky. So maybe he just doesn't like creeks because he's doing okay here. Oh, we're going too far. Right. You gotta be careful with Folsom Lake because it's mucky. <laughs> so you'll see it's all mud there. So sometimes you sink. There's a whole bunch of geese there. So when I go in there, I usually try to keep moving if I think there's um, any chance that we could get stuck in there. Okay. So. That water he did fine. So now we're headed back. Um, so this is out and back. So we're going back the same way today and that can amp some horses up. You'll see he's going faster, but he's not jigging or doing anything bad. He's just got a going home walk. You know, in some ways that good means you'll never get lost because he hasn't been here that long and he already knows which way is home. So that means they'll get you home or to the trailer if you don't know where you're going. Okay, so this is where we have to go through the little rocky area again. And it's shadowy and dark. Easy. I'm sliding a bit just to make sure he goes slow. Because it felt like he might take a big step. That's how you kind of shorten it step up. You can also angle across stuff if you think they're going to jump it, angle it, and then pull your rein left, right, left, right, left, right, distract the horse. Just going back through that little area. You have to listen, otherwise you clunk your head into that stuff and then there's a log under some grass. Which causes some of them to trip because they're not paying attention, but you did good. Okay, so we're coming up on that little water crossing that we had the problem with. And uh, there's little rocks sticking up, so that's what he just caught his feet on, but not bad. So, we'll expect the best, but if I have to... I'm going to get off and we'll do it all over again. Okay, he sees it coming. He's wobbling. Like, really? Can we go the other way? When you get to these things, assess what it is. There's water in the middle. There's slushy stuff on the left. And there's a drop on the right with water. So I don't, if anything, I want him to go left if he's going to be a goof about it. And you get a little bit in your thigh. Good job. Good job. Good job. So if he did jump it, you'd go with him. If you're sitting back too far, you know, sometimes you get launched off because you're behind the motion. Whoa. Then if I have any cookies left, I don't know. Here, buddy. Oh, he just opened his mouth way too wide. But, oh, that was the only cookie left. Sorry. Oh. So, um, but you're trying to go with them if they do jump it. You know, sometimes you're just unsure because they're shaking and doing stuff. But see, I spent all that time in the beginning. If I didn't, when I got back to that, it would have been a big disaster again. So best you just spend your time, work through it, get them better at it. So the next time something like that comes up, they'll trust you more. You know, it won't take as long to get through it. Good job. So he definitely knows where his feet are. So this goes up so a little faster and see if he just gates or he puts in some canner in. Couple canner steps. Oh, but he can definitely get up things really well. Kind of like a good goat. So. That's good and stay smooth the whole way, no matter if he's cantering or gating. So this is the hill going home. We tried to speed up a little bit. And then he's crooked, so we're just going to serpentine. This 
Hey, if he's smart, and I do this over and over again, he should figure out if he just goes slower. I won't do it. Well, of course, he's new, he's scared, he doesn't know what's going on. So, overall, I think he did uh, pretty well testing wise for going out on the trail by himself. And the other trails he was on were busy with bikes and other things, so. That stuff I would think he's going to be fine with, but we'll test it and see. Oh.